Today I want to talk about um, system maintenance and how we can clean up one of the largest tables that Sherwell has on a fairly regular basis. Uh, when you're doing a large development cycle within Sherwell, you'll find that the performance on your database may actually slow down and your backups will increase in size uh, sometimes by as much as 150%. The reason for this is that Sherwell logs every, every command that you publish uh, in a blueprint. So in order to clean that up, when your entire development cycle is over and you're ready to re-baseline your system with all of your changes, is you need to go in and truncate the publish history table. Now this would require you to have uh, admin privileges on the database server as well as having uh, SQL Management Studio or some other SQL uh, SQL management type software installed. Most of the time this will be one of your DBAs that is doing this, but if you're in a small enough shop and you are also the DBA, uh, you can go ahead and have at it. Now the one caveat to this particular operation is that once you do it, you cannot roll back. So you want to make sure your system is ready and baselined. And I would also recommend taking a full-on czar of the existing system before you run this truncate command. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up SQL Server Management Studio and connect to my database. Now I have quite a few databases here in my development system, but let's just for instance take uh, this one here. And what I want to do is I'm going to run a query against this particular database. And you can see uh, the simple SQL command, select the number of rows in the table, trebuchet, publish history. Now this just tells me how many rows are in that table. If I have a large response from that, well, in this case only one, but if I had a really large number in there, say 2,000 or 3,000 rows, that could increase my database size by 50% or even more. Uh, I have seen uh, published history tables that were, you know, three quarters of the size of the entire uh, Sherwell system that they were supporting. So, in order to get rid of this particular table, what you do is run a specific SQL command called truncate table. And what this does is it actually just removes everything from the table. You could do a delete from as well, but truncate actually just does a full-on mass uh, erase of everything in that table. So once I execute this and see it's completed successfully, if I do a select again from that same table, what you will see is now I don't have any rows left. So in order to truncate that, you again would need administrative access to the database you're working against. The name of that table is Trebuchet Publish History. And be sure that you have a full backup, a full czar of your existing system before you run it.